Today on the show, I'm going to be giving you advice on how to start writing comics. So there are a million different ways to write comics. Every writer has their own unique style. So I can only really give you advice on the things that I've tried and the things that I know other writers try. However, writing comics is a long process and the part of the process I will not be talking about is getting your comics solicited. Honestly, that is a topic in itself that I feel very underexperienced in. It's something that I'd like to be a lot more experienced in and hopefully before the end of the year I will be, but for now I really don't feel like I could talk about it. First, before you even think about the script of the comic that you're going to write, you need to think of the synopsis of the story. Now the synopsis of the story is exactly that. It's a short breakdown of what's going to happen in the story, but it has to be interesting. Dark Horse, the comic book publisher, actually say that for a short story comic, a synopsis should be one page, and then for a limited series or an ongoing series, it should be two to five pages long. Keeping in mind that it has to be as short as physically possible, it also has to be interesting, gripping, and leaves the editor wanting more. It has to leave the editor wanting to work with you. I've talked to a couple of editors and I actually have a couple of friends that are editors and they say that generally they can tell if they're going to want to work with a comic book writer or not about halfway through the first page. So you have half of a page to get an editor's attention. So before you think of a script, make sure your story is interesting and make sure your synopsis is well written. This being said, this does not count for webcomics. We are not really talking about webcomics here. Writing a webcomic is a bit more of a personal process and it works very differently to writing comics that you want to get published. Now on to writing the script. Once again, working on a webcomic script is nothing like working on a published comic script. When you're working on a webcomic script, there is more room for intuition. You're working with an artist that you know personally and it doesn't need to be quite so formal. In a published comic script, you need to put as many details as possible in your script while giving the artist artistic freedom. And that is something that is incredibly hard to balance. Let's take a look at the structure of the scripts from Dark Horse. This is actually the structure that I also use. You write the page and then how many panels are on the page. Then you write the panel number and begin to describe what's going on in each of the panels. From character looks to thoughts to dialogue to captions to sound effects, it all has to be described in that panel. Apparently my friends who are editors get a lot of scripts sent into them that are put in order of type, not in order of how they're going to be read. And if you gave that to an artist, they wouldn't know what to draw. This isn't the only way to structure a comic book script. I've actually put links down below to where you can find a bunch of already published comic book scripts. Now here's the tricky part. How do you know what's going to work in a comic? Like how do you know what you're writing will translate over to comics? Well, to know that, you kind of have to understand the comic book medium, but you also kind of have to work through trial and error. Understanding the comic book medium, though, doesn't really have much to do with how long you've been reading comics or how dedicated you are to comics or how many comics you buy. It's how you read comics. By this, I mean when I read a comic, I automatically start analysing it. What does this mean? What are the themes and issues? What drives this character? And so on and so forth. I no longer get lost in the story alone. I automatically analyze everything. If you watch my History of Death videos or watch my History of Flex Mentallo, that is how I read every single comic the first time I read it. However, I will admit when I think a comic is amazing, a sure sign of that is the fact that I don't analyze it anymore. I'm lost in the story. Like with Wayward number one, I got lost in the story. I didn't start analysing it until my second read through. There are lots of books on how to write comics out there, including Writing Comics the DC Way or Alan Moore's How to Write Comics. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend either of them. I don't think they're that great personally, but they are there if you want to give them a shot. 
I personally would say read books that could help you understand the comic book medium. There are three that I would recommend above all else. I recommend Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud, Will Eisner's Comics and Sequential Art, and if you want to write superheroes, read Super Gods by Grant Morrison. I would also recommend that you watch Grant Morrison's documentary, Talking With Gods. You can actually watch it for free on YouTube. It doesn't necessarily have much about writing comics in it, but it gives you an idea as to Grant Morrison's process, which as a new writer, you are going to love seeing. And my final piece of advice is, if you are new to writing, or you're just coming out of writing fan fiction or role-playing exclusively, prepare to hate every single thing you like. Prepare to be very bad for a very long time, and then suddenly overnight, get good out of nowhere. Some people do build up over time, but I found one day I reread all of my past works and knew exactly what was wrong with them. And I started rewriting everything, and I can now look at my work and say, no, that's good. This is very good. You are a good writer. In comics, there's no such thing as talent. There is skill. It is a skill that you can learn and you just need to keep practicing that skill. Yeah, there'll be one or two people that might take to it a bit more naturally than you, but you just need to keep practicing and there's no reason why you can't be as good, if not better than them. Now the final part, which a lot of people really struggle with, is where to get ideas from. Where do you draw inspiration from? And that all just comes down to you. Personally, I draw inspiration from everything I see, every single thing around me. However, turning that into a cohesive story isn't necessarily always easy. So to write a story before I do anything, I always think, what do I want to say next? What is on my mind that I want the world to start thinking about? What is there too much of, too little of? How does the world need to change? Every comic that you have read since 1985 has been written in that way. Every comic that you have read since 1985 has been a statement, has said something. We are long past the age of writing stories for the sake of stories. That doesn't exist anymore. Once you know what you want to say, it's just a matter of figuring out how to say it. And hopefully from there, everything will fall into place. It's super Okay guys, that is it for today. What advice do you have to new writers? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more comic book writing videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better videos when we hit that A-list character goal and subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.